we're all well aware of China's global influence through infrastructure projects around the world. Well, construction is now starting on a giant shipping canal across Nicaragua at a cost of $50 billion. Adrian Brown has our report on that. The businessman behind this high-profile deal tends to keep a low public profile. Wang Jing made his fortune in mining and telecommunications, but has no experience with such large infrastructure projects. Wang insists he doesn't have a political background, yet the company's website boasts of his links to government leaders. Whatever the true nature of the relationship, the deal is very strategic for China. This uh, project is not just a canal, it's about ports, about roads, about airports, and also uh, tourist resorts, and uh, it will create a lot of jobs for the local people. The local people will definitely benefit from it. This week, China signed another contract that it says will create jobs and help one more small economy, this time in Europe. The project to fund and build a new highway in Montenegro. The cost, just over a billion dollars. Small change compared to China's investments elsewhere in the world. Only last month, a state-owned company signed off on a $12 billion contract to expand Nigeria's rail network with a high-speed train service. The problem for China is not money, but cooperation with local people, says one analyst. So when China is proposing all these institutions, it has to have the capacity to interact with the local community and the diversity interest groups, and that is the challenge for Beijing. Many of China's other projects are also very strategic. It's working with Pakistan to develop a port on the Indian Ocean that will be linked to China by road and rail. President Xi Jinping is encouraging this expansion to gain access to the natural resources China needs to fuel its economic growth. And infrastructure projects are often thrown in as part of the deal. The most important of these investments is perhaps the plan to reconstruct the ancient Silk Road trade route, linking China with Europe via new highways and railways in Central Asia. How does the Chinese government pay for all this? Well, it's currently sitting on savings of more than $4 trillion.